Weather has always been a part of NBC Force history. I'm here with Bob Ryan, who helped Washington through decades of weather and helped me through it, too, when I was growing up in this area. Between the two of us, we have now covered 42 years of Washington weather. And uh, I, I, I always tell, you know, I've told Doreen this. I used to tell Vance I grew up watching him. But, you know, you were my idol growing up. I mean, you know, sitting next to you even right now is, is one of the coolest things I could do. Well, and uh, we didn't have the cool thing the first year I was here. I was, we were chatting about it. It was 19, the summer of 1980, yeah. and uh, and that I coming down. I had uh, grown up in the Hudson Valley and New England, and then New York, and coming down here, the summer never ended. Right. I thought you know we were uh, living close by. I thought we I had moved my family to hell. It, <laughs> it was a typical Washington summer, but it was also a record breaker. Yeah. Six, uh, 64 90 degree days that recently was broken while you were here. Right. I mean, it just. It, it, and I think it's getting more and more and more. But that, I'm thinking, I got up in the morning and it was 82 degrees and in the so morning. The humidity was what gets you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, so different than you coming down from New England, coming down here to the Mid-Atlantic and dealing with that humidity the first but the, time. But the fun part was Washington is a wonderful, wonderful town to do yeah. weather because people Best. are from different areas, so you could do a national weather. And then we had the seasons that were so great. Right. After that summer, there was snowstorms. Right. <laughs> and that's, and that's what I tell everybody about where we live. I mean, we really live in a perfect place because each one of our seasons really is three months. And when you get sick of one season, the next season comes right in. And then when you're sick of that one, here comes the next one. And, you know, for, for, for winter, for example, you move into December, you're ready for that first snow. By January, you're enjoying it. By February, you're done. Yeah. You're ready for spring. And then here comes March, and we normally start to see warmer weather at that and time. We, and we have the cherry blossoms. One of the, speaking of cherry blossoms, for years I had the golden snow shovel. Right. And whoever forecast the first inch of snow, I would go out and shovel their walkway. One year, one fellow guessed no snow, and he was correct. <laughs> and there was, I, I mean, it was about the uh, the early 90s, and yeah. we had no measurable snow in Washington. So I, I got out the snow shovel and did a little bit with him where I was shoveling up some cherry blossoms, but he still got, nice. he still got the snow. But often, one time, my goodness, the first snow I think was up in Rockville, and it was 12 inches of heavy wet wow. snow. Tommy Charles. That you had to do? And I had to do, and I was out there. My, I couldn't do it now, but. Well, now, okay, so, so how much did you actually do? Because I know what, you know we, we can we can turn the cameras off. We can turn the cameras on. <laughs> well, when the people were there, they were watching, and I had okay. to do it. <laughs> right. Now sometimes they had done their sidewalk, so I did yeah. a little bit of the of the driveway. But I had, one time there was a correct guest came from Winchester. Oh wow. And so I went out to uh, Winchester and back in the same day. And so you know that but that was fun. That yeah, was, I mean, you know, growing up here, um, you know, I, I'll never forget some of the storms that I went through. I mean, one of the biggest storms for me was the, the, the blizzard of 83. 83. I mean, I was eight years old at the time, and I remember, you know, my dad throwing me into two feet of snow. I mean, that was one of the most epic storms that we've ever had here, and we've sure. done a couple of them. And, and <clears throat> that was one of the storms where uh, I had a took a look, and I would talk to the folks in the weather service and mm -hmm. really tried to get the forecast right on. And actually, there was then some discussion that I think some of the other stations didn't get. We had everybody in place, yeah. I.J. Hudson, uh, Pat Collins, yeah. and so we were ready to go. And when it started to snow about uh, 7, 8 in the morning, we were on, and we were on continuous throughout the day while you were playing in the snow. I Absolutely, was I was playing in I the was, snow. I was working, but I mean, <laughs> I think that's a memorable snowstorm because yeah. we were there with everybody through the whole event. And that's, that's that's the key about weather, and you've right. done it with tornadoes and uh, severe and, and the uh, and the duratio. Yeah. My goodness. Yeah, that, and that was an incredible storm uh, in 2012. And the, the amazing thing about us is, you know, a lot of times we're the I, I won't say you know comic relief. I think is is the wrong term, but we're able to have a little bit of fun. Sure. You know, and we're able to bring the anchors into to our world a little bit to yeah. have some fun with them. But there's so many times that we have to turn it around, and we have to be we have to be totally serious in situations where we're dealing with severe weather, like the tornadoes or the duratio that and came. <clears throat> and for somebody like me who grew up uh, as a snow lover, as yeah, you, yeah. and yet the forecast was usually not on for snowstorms, especially back right. in the 50s. But to see the advance now of the science right. and the application and people rely on you and the things that you're able to do mm -hmm. for the, uh, for the and, and still have fun, 
much of the time, too. Yeah, and that's it. We can have fun with, you know, when we're covering the snowstorms. I mean, those are some of the, the, the funnest times for us because it's a serious part, but yet at the same time, uh, we're still enjoying it as well. So going back, we're going back now to 1980. I mean, 40, 42 years ago when you started. What? What's the, the, the I was Bob, only, I'm 46, I, buddy. I, I only was 14 when I'm, I started. I'm 46, <laughs> right, I'm 46 years old. And that's the amazing part about this. Out of 75 years of, of NBC4, I mean, you've Two been here us. over yeah. half of it, and, and we've been here, you know, the, the sure. 42 years is, is kind of incredible. Um, and starting and, back and that way. And the late. team, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's fun for me to see the team. Yeah. You, Amelia. And yeah. I, I look and I say, there there's more meteorologists than I grew up with in, in college in, in the station. Right. How many did you have when you started out here? Uh, myself. Just uh, you? Yeah, but that was it. I mean... Uh, and at the time you were doing how many shows? Well, I was doing... Um, we didn't have the four. Okay. So we had a five and then a six to 6.30, I think. Now it's four, five, four to seven six, o'clock. 11. Yeah. And I would go home in between, right? Unless, it, of course, if it would snow, I was here yeah. with pizza, and I had my Bronco. So right, I, right. I always, I've, I'm on my third Bronco. So when I parked my Bronco at the end of my driveway before a snowstorm, the neighbors People do, really, right? they, they knew this, <laughs> this, this is probably going to happen. What, so, what were you? What were you doing? I mean, obviously, our computer systems are, are, are much better now. Our modeling is much better. Uh, what would you say forecasting has come? Oh in my area? goodness! It's it's uh, it's. It's come from, I'll believe it when it happens for yeah. the average person, too. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to, I better plan on that. Right. So w when you are wrong, which is rare, or just even partially, just partially a, a little exactly. bit, people are saying, I'm surprised. They, yeah. You said it was going to be 75, and it's 78. Right. <laughs> Right. So, so, you know, the, inter the interesting thing is how people now really, really use it. And as a matter of fact, I think on local news, you can get news from a lot of places, but you can't get the local weather yeah. from somebody that you trust and depend on. And that's the key. That, and that's been the, it was the satisfying part for me also, have, yeah. seeing that evolution of the science and then the acceptance of it being something I can depend on and right. being a trusted voice. Yeah, and you know, for us, it's you know, everybody's got their 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 apps on their phones, and they're saying, yeah. "Oh, my app is saying this," and the apps are still not as good no. as we can be, and and that's what I, I love. I mean, it, there's going to be a time where eventually that might happen, where the computers be are going to be better. And you, right, exactly, <laughs> exactly right. I'll be done. When we'll you be get as old here. as me, they're going to say, "Okay, time to computerize." Yeah, <laughs> and you'll still be around. It'll be I'll, I'll be I'll be in your chair, and, and it'll be somebody <laughs> else in here. Um, Speaking, you know, growing up watching you, I did my and you know. You, I I did my 10th grade math report on Bob Ryan. Everybody says, when did you know you wanted to do the weather? When I was eight years old. That's and it. I was watching, watching Bob, and I wrote you a letter, and I said, I want to come in. I'm doing a math report. I need to come in, and you let me come in. You were the first person to put me on the chroma key, on the in green the screen. Yeah. I was in here with Jim Vance and Doreen, and, 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 and George was in here as well, and you walked me through that whole thing. You were fantastic at, uh, about allowing a young guy like me uh, to really Ten just can, can continue the passion. Yeah. And that's it. And and people will say, uh, oh, are you retired? Are you rem I said, no, that was the way I was born. I'm still a meteorologist. Right. And that's, and, you know, that's the key. That's the key, I think, is the passion. Yeah. And uh, really just having, enjoying, whether it's a snowstorm, except some, I busted a few. Boy. Oh. Uh, I, 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 got, I got one that, uh, that you busted a little bit. I got in trouble because I was the weatherman at my school, but I was oh, the weatherman well, right. based on what you said. So, yeah, I definitely, I definitely got in trouble at least once or twice. Yeah. And one was the November... Um, Veterans Day. Veterans Day storm. Yeah. And you look at everything and say, you know, it could snow. I think I mentioned it, it, there could be some snow. Right. And, boy, was that some snow. Right. <laughs> was, and it was uh, almost 12 inches of snow, the biggest snowstorm ever in November. In November. In November. Right. But, you yeah. were, you know, going back, I mean, you didn't have all of no. the tools that we had no. today. I mean, that's a storm that we wouldn't miss now. But there was no way that you're going to see some of those storms that are going to develop that, along the coast and move back in. And like that are that. a record breaker. Right. That are, and in November. November. So I do remember saying we're good. we could even have some snow. Yeah, some <laughs> we, snow. Did. we had a little bit of, we had a little bit of snow. <laughs> exactly right. Uh, we, we've come a long way weather-wise. I mean, it, it really is uh, fascinating what we're able to do now. And you're still so involved 
in meteorology. I mean, I, I see you all the time uh, out and about with uh, whether it's National yep. Weather Service or and with I'm, NOAA. Uh, actually, <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a brief period of retired madness, I decided to put together a program for an upcoming broadcast. And one of the, the things is how do, do we develop trust? Yeah. And you know, it's through being here for a number of years now. Everybody trusts you, right. and but starting out as a young person mm -hmm. or an early career person, how do you? What do you develop? And yeah. especially now with so much on digital and all of this stuff, but eventually, uh, and during especially during any big weather events, they're going to come and they're going yeah. to watch you. They're, right. That one-to-one -one person, and I use the analogy. It's a bit like visiting the doctor. You know, you can see all these tests and everything, and then but you go to the doctor and somebody you trust. You said, "Well, what should I do?" Right. And that's you know, you're not going to get everything that you need from. Uh, 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 an app. Well, no, you're not. And, and the one thing that I think allowed me to gain trust, um, not only from being in Washington, D.C., but when I came after you, I always had a thing. You never want to come after a legend. And I'm coming after Bob Ryan, like the, the biggest legend in Washington, D.C. That was that was harder. That was that was up here for me. You know, it really was. But what allowed me, I think, to gain the trust was the fact that Doreen and Jim yes. brought me on right away and they made me a part of that team a part of this team, team. Yep. uh and that and that's why you guys going back and you know and, and arch is arch is sitting right off camera now but the team that you guys had has allowed us to continue with our team yes. and that's why people who come in here still love it so much and the still continuity. stay the, the continuity. continuity exactly yep and now you're going to be a legend <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got a long way to go. I got a long way to go to fill these Hardly. shoes for sure. Um, but I, I, I'll tell you, it's always great catching up with you. Uh, you. You and I caught up before you retired, before you left NBC4. You and I caught up uh, at an AMS conference. Yes. And we were talking about that. And, and you, you kind of hinted you might be leaving eventually. And I'm like, uh, oh, man. You know, that, I, I certainly hope and the, the timing and works. Turns and the uh, and here and here we are. It was. I mean, it was really uh, for me. It was luck. You know, it, it's amazing that you you were leaving just as my contract, because we work in contracts in television news, um, and the fact that my, my agent called and said Guess you what? might be the chief meteorologist at, at WRC and NBC4, and I, I, that was coming uh, back home. I'll never rem I'll never forget where I was when I got that phone call. Uh, being able to take over for for this gentleman right here, the great Bob Ryan. Bob, thank you so much for for coming in. This was fun. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was always great to catch up, and you can see a lot more memories of our station 75 years on NBC4 and all of our other platforms. Hoping for a big, uh, big winter this year. <laughs> what do you think?